What's up, Fighter Fightman64 here, and welcome back to some more Sonic Rider. In the last episode, we got started with Babylon's story. So in this episode, we're going to be finishing the rest of Babylon's story. So, you know the drill up to this point. Punch that like button on this video, I would really appreciate it. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. With that being said, let's... Let's finish the Babylon story. Boss! Sorry to keep you waiting for me. How'd it go? <sighs> Take a look at this, boss. Gimme. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Hmm? Is this... What is it? It's an entry in Eggman's diary. It's about the Babylon treasure from our ancient ancestors. Hmm. <laughs> I got those bird brains to believe that Babylon treasure was just a gem. I can't, I can't believe they, they fell for it. it. What fools? Can you believe the real treasure is the ancient but advanced technology of the Babylonians? What? Irony. I found a story about a boy who received an angel wing from the Babylonians as a gift. The story says that with it, the boy was able to rule the world. And this was just a gift. I'm anxious to find this technology as soon as possible. Imagine the vast possibilities of the technology they must have kept for themselves. <laughs> oh, man. I guess it's not a gem after all. Hmm. Oh well. Guess this was just a wasted effort. Too bad, really. I haven't the slightest interest in world domination or advanced technology. Hey, wait a second, okay, Jet? While Eggman may not look smart, he is. He has an IQ of 300, after all. If he's interested in this technology, it must have value. Are you saying there's profit in this? Think about it. It may be more valuable than finding silver or gold. <laughs> Why'd you do that? I was just having this great daydream. Come on, Jet. It's time to go back to the race. All right, let's finish this. Then we'll finally get the treasure of Babylon. Here we are at the final race, and our objective this time is to win the World Grand Prix as Jet the Hawk. Because if you didn't remember from Sand Ruin, we had him and the rest of Team Sonic. But instead of racing in the daytime, we're now racing in the desert. A dark bass desert, that is. Now... This stage, I actually do like this stage. And there is actually a way that you can get the harder ring right away. And that is where what you just saw, which unfortunately I have uh, missed. But yeah. And so if you want to get a hundred ring, you have to have someone get in front of you and uh, take the shortcut. Because as you saw with Turbulence, there are certain passes where you can use the shortcut to your advantage. Stuff so, that you can't reach personally to get to higher ground. And unfortunately we don't have too many rings and therefore Sonic is not far from us right now. That could be an issue later on because he could use advantage of the turbulent if he really wants to. And now I am going backward. And I am constantly hitting walls. Oh boy. That is... That is not good. If that second lap decided the whole thing... Hopefully I can catch up to, to the current leader, Sonic, who is... Who is currently dominating at the moment. Thankfully not too far. 
Uh, I really gotta catch this dude or else he's gonna win the whole race. Thankfully, I can use advantage of that turbulence. And, and, look, and it looked like someone already picked up the haunted ring. I'm gonna assume it's Sonic. Ah, crap. That might have that might have decided the raid. So whenever you get attacked, whenever you get attacked, you lose all your ring. Which, as you can see, my count has been reset to zero. And unfortunately. Because Sonic hit me, I'm gonna have to reset. I'm gonna have to redo this race again. That that bad second lap is what decided the race, apparently. I'm not gonna cut ahead here because that was a big slip up mistake on my end. So. You can put this blame on me for this one, but yeah. But you know, if Sonic hadn't hit me right there, I probably could have won the race. But since he was on my tail this entire time and hit me, that's what decided the whole thing. So that su that sucked, really. Getting hit by Sonic was really the last thing I wanted to see happen. Mm. Little pissed and a little sad about that. But we can make up for it. No worry. Now let's not screw this up. Now let's not goof and screw this up like we did last time. And give Sonic the win. Because that second lap, that was embarrassing. Even more embarrassing to the fact that I was hit the second... Well, not the second lap, but the final lap. You get what I mean. Also, I guess I should say about one thing about... Uh, doing the Sonic Rider. Probably the one thing I don't like is that... The... Is that sometimes... You can get screwed over by items like that. That is the item that can slow you down right there. But anyway, yeah. What I don't like it about this game is that the uh, audio and some of the cussing is really hard to hear sometimes. Because the sound effect is louder than the character's speech. But anyway, yeah. Managed to avoid getting hit by Sonic this time. Because in fact, I think he was trying to hit me. On that one. Too bad he failed the second time around. So well, there we go. After making a big mistake that cost us the race the first try, we successfully got it on the second try. And because we finished five different courses, Babylon Cop is now added to the World Grand Prix, which is what we're going to be doing after we're done with story mode. And there is a reason for that, which we'll go over later, of course. Oh man, looks like we have company. We gonna rumble? Targeting, targeting, 
Hypotope. Knuckles, now's not the time to fight. Smart thinking. Let's get out of here. Forget the red mutt. Let's go, Storm. Did she say red mutt? Why, why you? Hey, Knuckles, wait for me! <laughs> the look on Knuckles' face again! Knuckles' reactions are so priceless, I'm sorry. Also, that red robot... That red robot is so familiar. But anyway, next to Sky Road, and this time we're playing Wave, and we got a new different robot, which is who we saw in the cussing when Knuckles and Storm met at Egg Factory. That robot name is e 10000 r So, I am doing really bad. I am doing a terrible job today with, with having to stay on course. Anyway, so as I was getting ready to say before I made, made a big, big mistake is that that red robot that we just saw, his name is E10,000R. This guy is a speed type. And this is basically supposed to be, and he's basically is supposed to be the leader of the robots, of course. And, uh, and of course, the red robot is the one we got to avoid. Now, this turbulent right here. This turbulent is very useful. And it's very useful to avoid all the the uh, U-turns here. I also do like the... the and right thing for this stage because yeah it's just really really good and useful for the most part i probably could have worded that better but whatever so anyway we're we're on to the final lap even through a, a little mishap that we had on the first lap anyway the path that we're going past uh, there are... That is the long way to go about it. But either way, yeah. And... And I... And I somehow missed... Missed the, the ramp. In fact, I probably could have overlapped that... Green robot, because... I was right close to him, right there. Thankfully... Even with two major mistakes... We still managed to came out on top. This is a state I also used to struggle with as a kid because I didn't know what how to play uh, Sonic Rider at the time, and I failed many times before I eventually succeeded. I thought from that fatal mistake I made, I thought I was gonna lose that race, but apparently nothing has really changed. Aside from a terrible first lap. But anyways, yeah. And that is yet another stage done. But are we done yet? Well, maybe we are. Maybe we're not. Let's find out right now. And finish up the story mode. Skyward is unlocked as well as wave mission. Again. So don't play games with me. I don't want your pity, nor do I need it. What? Are you crazy? If they don't want it, then let's take it. Treasure is treasure. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay, let's go.
What? Hmm. Finally, something interesting. Yike! That is one big dude! So anyway, this is the final stage, a and for this objective, we gotta defeat the Guardian that was apparently summoned for whatever reason. And this is our first and only boss fight in this game. Now, Babylon Guardian, the rankings do not matter here. You can get any place you want. But the objective here, of course, is to defeat, uh, the Babylon Guardian. This stage is pretty much just an oval-shaped, uh, track. So the way you have, are supposed to damage him is that you need to boost right into him. That way, you can change the look of this of course, of course. <laughs> now, now. Fair warning to you guys. If you don't hit the Babylon Guardian before you finish the lap, uh, the lap will not count until you hit him. So, basically what I'm saying here is you need to make your all your boosts count. There are no rings to collect on this stage. You have to hit him no matter what cost. And, and thankfully, since no one was able to catch us, we defeated the Babylon Guardian. So yeah, the boss fight against uh, Babylon Guardian is really easy for the most part. However, You have to be very consistent with your air. That is basically the key that you have to use to beat the level. There also is no time limit uh, either. But anyways, yeah. So that's it. We defeated the Babylon Guardian. Now let's see how this all plays out in the end. struck by the treasure to notice me, eh? Eggman! Now hand over the treasure! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Hand over the treasure right now! Okay, catch! <laughs> the treasure of Babylon is finally mine! Huh? What is this thing? A piece of cloth? Let's see. Ah, this looks interesting. At long last, we've completed our ultimate invention. With this, our lives will be easier without the need to work so hard to keep ourselves flying. Stolen, the 13th leader of the Babylon Rogues. It's amazing. The carpet's rich texture is a sight to behold, and the way it feels is extraordinary. Something such as this could only have been created in Babylon. Undoubtedly, this carpet will be in high demand from all around the world, but, but what's this? No way. 
I went to the trouble of holding the World Grand Prix for... Uh, for this? I... I can't believe I just wasted my time for this piece of junk! For a second, Shorty, but you did. Hey, what are you talking about? This isn't just a piece of fabric. Right, take a look at the material. It's the same stuff we use for our extreme gear. You don't say! Oh, it's... Not sure, but maybe it's a prototype gear. A magic carpet? I thought that those only existed in fiction. That's quite funny, actually. I never imagined that we Babylonians could be descendants of real genies. So, you're leaving this place? Yeah, the back of the carpet has more words of wisdom. It says, this was invented to allow Babylonians to travel all over the world to gather treasure. Some things never change, huh? But enough of this friendly banter, Sonic. You better make sure you're ready when we meet face to face once again. You bet. Come on, Jet, it's time to split. Hey, I wanted to say that. Ah. We should split too, right? Yeah. And that's it! That is the end of the story mode for good this time. And we're done with the Babylon, Babylon story. So anyway, Sonic Rider, this is an amazing game to play, and I suggest you guys give this shot a try. Of course, as I said before, we're not even anywhere close to finishing the game, because we still have a whole lot more stuff to show here. Now, what I was originally going to say about the part where Eggman shows up, I was actually going to make a joke of that. And I'm like, what's inside the treasure? Aha! It was Eggman all along! I was going to make that joke. Only having Eggman be, the, be inside the treasure chest, I honestly thought what, that would have been the most hilarious thing in existence. And I'm kind of a little sad that they didn't go that route. But I will say, how the heck did Eggman even get in this, this place that Sonic and everyone else get into? That's the only thing that kind of baffles me a little bit, but uh, I guess we'll never know about how Eggman was able to get in to the thing, although the door was clearly shut once uh, Sonic Tail, Knuckles, and Amy made it in there, but whatever. <laughs> but in any way, now for the performance of how I did on Babylon Story, I feel like I could have done a bit better on a couple of these. A a in fact, a few of these rather, but this is about as good as I'm going to get it. And you know what? I do make mistakes at times. But anyway, yeah. So, anyway, guys. So, next time on Sonic Riders, we are going to be tackling on the World Grand Prix. And why are we going to be doing this, Emea? Well, there are at least two courses that we can unlock during the Grand Prix. And this is why I want to do them right before I start doing... 
mission mode later on because mission mode is where we're gonna be spinning the most time at for the most part. But before we close out this episode, of course, there are awards that we get for beating Babylon Story, of course. And I say we look right into that. So, a reward for beating all of them is that we now have access to you bike type. Which we'll go over in a moment. Uh, we also added a new mission, a store mission. And as well as wave mission. So anyway, the track we unlock is Digital Dimension, which is a stage that we didn't do for Team Heroes for a reason. But that track, I will I will be showing that off in a separate episode, along with two other tracks that we still have yet to unlock as of now. We also got Babylon Guardian, which we just did. And we also unlocked Dr. Eggman, who is a power-type character. Got the ending to the theater. Got the magic carpet that we found in the treasure chest. E-Rider, which is our first bike vehicle, which anyone can use. I'll also note that the skate-type gear and bike-type gear, not everyone uh, has this. But uh, what I will say for Eggman is that he uses bikes only. I'm just going to put it there right now. But anyway, that's all the price that we got. So anyway, guys, that's it. That is it for our story mode. But of course, this game isn't over yet because next time, as I said, we're going to be taking on the World Grand Prix. Which we can do this for either one player or two player. Compete on all five racetracks to, in turn to become the overall champion. So anyway, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching it. And remember, if you enjoyed this episode of Sonic Rider, don't forget to punch that like button. And we'll be taking on the World Grand Prix next time. So, once again, I am Fightman64. See you all. Have a good day. Game on, my friend, and take care. Goodbye, everybody, and stay safe. Adios!